to weakness shifted when he had Hellfire, because I haven't seen that borne out at all. I believe it could be the case, I just haven't seen it yet. And Chronicle's too slow, so whatever. Off we go. Why don't just give that info in the game like they did with everything else? Yeah, the numbers that they gave are so much better than what we had before, but they're also very incomplete. It's weird. They don't show different state changes. They don't show the numbers for stuff like ailments or uh, different statuses. It, it's odd. Oh well. Baby steps, I guess. Hopefully they'll get even better next time. Or in a later update to this game. <laughs> Magnemala reminds me of Nurgigante, but you don't know why. They share a similar animation skeleton and some moves. That hit, how did that not hit the mine, but hit me? I guess maybe the hitbox was coming a little bit further forward there, huh? No, I didn't mean to do that. I jumped through the air like that. Oh, controls. Oh, God. Those coming through his body is great. We're gonna die. Not yet. So much for the sticky KO. <laughs> 
Here it is. Oh, the Rocky got me. It's so weird when they choose to join in. I guess they, they knew he was going to leave before I did because they, yeah, they were more aware of his, his state than I was. That's interesting. That's why they came over and started attacking us. They knew, they knew Magnamala was going to leave. I really want that to dunk him. I really want him to do that flying spin move like that and hit my mines and just explode. But no, it's gotta hit me randomly with the tail is nowhere near me. <laughs> oh gosh, the reload in place. Hey Arcane, welcome. Who's this bloke? This is the flagship of Monster Hunter Rise. This is Magnamala. Oof. I'm currently getting a little bit bodied by him. Marshmallow. Yep, people do call him Mango or Marshmallow. It's an abbreviation. The abbreviations folks come up with for monsters in this series are really funny. Finally hit him while he was in the air. He is aesthetically similar to Zenogre. Yep. Their fights are pretty crazy different. I think when we first saw this guy's design unveiled, we were all pretty sure he was going to fight like Zenogre, but that's just not the case. How you doing tonight? You're awake. 
That's a good way to be. Oof. Alright, have we broken all the arm blades? Yes. people read our messages when you're in lurk mode? Uh, yes. There's, a, there's no actual lurk mode or anything. It's just something you say when you're gonna be hanging out, but not chatting too much. Lurking is encouraged, appreciated. Wow, the hitbox on that is interesting. Whoops. Makes me happy this is a place people wanna hang out and just watch a little bit of Monster Hunter. effects on slicing are really nice in this game. Sticky's latch on looks really, really weird. Or not stickies, but slicing. How far have you made it in this game? We have killed our first Narwa with with several weapons now, but I haven't gone much further than Narwa. I haven't done all the HR, I haven't done all of the HR7 fights yet, and I haven't done any of the Elder Dragons that come after Narwa. So we still have several monsters to fight for the first time, including some of the Apex monsters there in this game. I know pretty much all the monsters that are in this game, like I know of them, but I don't really want to know the details of some of the fights before I actually get to them. I think that's all breaks. Oof. That move does some damage. Oh, yep. Dodged right into the path of that one. His moveset's wild, man. He's probably going to be weak soon, but not quite yet. We can probably switch back to normal too shortly. I, just, I wanted to use up most of the, the slicing. Yeah, you know what? Let's switch back to normal too. I think it's going to be dealing better damage than slicing is. 
Not so much that slicing is weak, but just I think normal two is going to be quicker and easier to fire off here. Let's get that tail carve. Happy to have cut the tail with the bow gun. Feels nice. Very doable in this game. Yeah, this gun fires normal two off a little quicker, which is the only reason I'm using it instead of the slicing. The slicing is decently strong. It cuts tails super quickly in this game. Oh, too slow on the uptick. Traps are crazy. The end. What does that slide do and how to do it? So it's a silk bind art that you unlock a little later into the game. It replaces the big jump. By default, like Bogan has a jump. You press it, you, you do it by pressing R plus A and you can go left or right. It boosts your damage a little bit, which is why your arm's glowing there. And at the end of it, you can go ahead and you can fire a shot or you can reload. So it's a good way of repositioning out of the way of things. It boosts your damage a little bit, so you want to be using it quickly. And it's a nice way of kind of getting out of the way and reloading. It's just a positioning tool, really. But I mean, if you're being, if you're trying to be like really, I don't know, particular about it, you can use it to boost your damage over and over, just a little bit. It's not a big boost. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> we did not get any of the parts we needed. Yeah, it's a switch skill that you get a little later on. 